sent you one of the old ones, did Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do the prints tonight. I've just moved into a brand new home. A rural bush retreat. My lonely days are over now. My life is just complete. See, this newly married couple have come to live with me. I think he's done and boring, but she's a dog, you see. I watch her around the house. I watch her taking showers. Last week her husband caught me, and he laughed for several hours. He always tells me where to go, and that's an uphill slog. But there's no chance of moving me, because I'm a greenhouse frog. <laughs> daily I'm thrown out the door, and daily I'm cursed. And I always sneak back in again because I was in here first. Why should I climb this, live in the scrub and climb in the trees? Why should I swelter on a summer's day and shiver in the breeze? I always wear my nicest grin when people come around. And when they're watching movies, I never make a sound. But he says, we haven't got a goldfish or a budgie or a dog. Now get it through your big green head. We do not need a frog. <laughs> she gets no raging mad when I'm swimming in the loo. I ask him, what's so wrong with that? That's deep and cool and blue. Last week she cracked a fit and screamed at him to come. Well, all I did was shyly place my cold hand on a bum. <laughs> He threw me in the dam for that, just another one of his crimes. And I've seen him do the same damn thing a hundred other times. I sometimes wish he'd move away and join some synagogue, and I'd have her all to myself, the princess and the frog. She must know I'm besotted by the way I smile and pout, but every time I jump at her, she almost passes out. Oh, I keep my lonely vigil by her bedside every night. If I could only speak to her, I know she'd see the light. Because I really am a royal frog, a prince of shiny green. I sit for hours and dream of all the things that might have been. I could change her life forever and our future would be bliss. If only she would give me one wet sloppy kiss. That was written by Bobby Miller. Yeah.